Hi, I am Sarvesh Kapoor and I work at the Investment Banking Division at IntelliCap. I help startups raise venture capital funding. In today's video, we would talk about the accounting and the legal due diligence process and also talk about various agreements like the shareholders and the share subscription agreement that the investor would expect you to sign along with him before the money is released for your company. Once you have agreed upon a term sheet along with the investor and executed the same, the investor would then go on and appoint accountants and lawyers to conduct the accounting and the legal due diligence on their behalf. Once the accounting due diligence partners have been appointed, they would share a checklist with you which would contain documents and supporting that they would want to verify during their process. You should make sure that you have all these documents supporting etc ready before you call upon the accountants to actually start the accounting due diligence. During the accounting due diligence process, the accountant would try and verify your past financials and also see if it's possible to vet a few of the assumptions that you've used in the business plan through historics and management information systems that you may have till that point of time. He would want to verify the gross margins that you had in the past and also things like what's been your working capital cycle in the past. The accountant would also try and understand your tax liability. So he would go through your tax filings and other related documents to verify if you file all your taxes or there is a possibility of certain tax liabilities to come on the company in the future. Similarly, the lawyers will also during their legal due diligence process go through various legal documents that you may have at that point of time. They would check things like your articles of association, board minutes, general meeting minutes and other filings that you have done with the statutory authorities. They would also want to go through licenses and patents that you may have or have filed till that point of time or agreements and arrangements that you have with others for you to use their technology in the future. The lawyers would also want to go through lawsuits that have been filed against the company. They would have a detailed discussion with the management to try and understand the likelihood of any liability to arise upon the company. Once the accounting and legal due diligence are over, these reports are shared with the investor. The investor then very carefully goes through them to try and understand if there are any findings which are critical enough for him to look at the decision of investment once again. If the accounting and legal due diligence do have certain findings which the investment manager is not comfortable with at all, he may in fact drop the investment idea altogether. At times, the clauses are such that he may not be too comfortable with but can be taken care upon by the management or the promoter by doing certain acts before the investment happens into the company. Now the investor would be issuing you certain set of documents which you would need to execute before the money comes into your business. The key documents here are called shareholders agreement and shared subscription agreement. The shared subscription agreement is a legal document on the basis of which the investor is subscribing to the shares in the company. It is executed between the investor, the promoters and the company. These typically contain representations and warranties that the company and the promoters provide to the investor. For example, the capital structure that they have mentioned is true and correct and also the financial documents and supporting that they have provided during the due diligence procedures were also true and correct. The other important legal document that you would execute is the shareholders agreement. The shareholders agreement is nothing but those rights and obligations that you had discussed and frozen during the term sheet stage drafted into a legal document which is binding on both parties. In this video we have discussed the accounting and the legal due diligence process and also shareholders agreement and shared subscription agreement. After you execute both these documents the investor would be ready to pump in the money in your business. The next video would talk about managing the relationship with your investor post the investment. Thank you so much for your time.